I'm so excited to be showing you how to make a beautiful linen pinafore apron. I've been dreaming of an apron like this for a while now and I'm excited to make it for myself. These are the pieces that you'll need to cut out for your apron. I'm going for a very simple gathered skirt with a nice square top, nice long apron strings because I like to wrap it all the way around my body and I can actually wrap it around and tie it in the back, which I love. I often take the time to plan out the things that I'm going to make and sometimes what I have in my head, mo well most of the time what I have in my head will turn out into what I'm expecting, but I always go in with, with the intention that I am going to learn something and I definitely learned a few things during this project. Once your pieces are cut, we are going to sew a zigzag stitch around all of the raw edges of your linen to seal it and make sure that it doesn't fray in the future. Repeat this process for all of your linen pieces. Then for your long thin straps, you'll come back and do a straight stitch about a half an inch from the end of your fabric. I like to use my presser foot as a guide for this. By lining up my presser foot with the edge of my fabric, I'm able to get a consistent stitch of half an inch. For the narrow straps, I decided to seal them up by sewing one end closed because I knew that this would be the end where the apron would tie. And to reduce bulk, I cut out the corners. Then we'll hem the three edges of the skirt with a straight stitch and I fold it over a half an inch on three sides, leaving the fourth side as the side that you sew your gather stitches on to make your apron skirt. You will begin by lengthening your stitch length to five and then we will sew two gather stitches on the fourth side of the skirt. You want to be sure that you didn't backstitch on your gather stitches because then you wouldn't be able to pull them like you see here. So what you do is you'll just pull on the tail end threads until you get your gathers to the width that you prefer. Then we will begin the putsy process of turning our straps right side out. For this part of the project, I suggest using a narrow wooden spoon if you have one. I did not have one, so I had to use random things. I started with a pen, started with a marker, the cap came off. Luckily, it's just one of those fabric pens that don't actually leave a mark. I tried a pencil, that didn't work. The one thing that did work was a plastic straw, a super long plastic straw. I just sped it through the middle of the straw, push it through, and you just push it and push it and push it until it comes through and turns around. This is the part that almost made me stop doing this. So if you want longer straps, make sure you keep the width no less than two inches because you have to factor in the seam allowance for your straps. The ones, the super small ones that I'm turning around right here are one and a half inches. So I had a half inch seam allowance. So it really came down to one inch. Then we're going to press all of the straps flat. Along with the bodice piece.
Once all of your pieces are ironed, you can begin assembling your apron. I started with sewing the waistband strap to the gathered end of the skirt, and then I attached the bodice piece to the waistband skirt. Now to attach the straps, I actually had two pieces of bodice that I wanted. I wanted to make it double lined, so I will seam rip a small part of that to make a hole for the strap and you just tuck it in and give it a little top stitch. You'll sew a top stitch back and forth until you feel it is secure. You will then follow the same process as you attach the straps to the waistband. The beauty of making your own apron allows you to adjust the strap to your liking. So I'm not really going to show you how to attach the straps. You can either do them diagonally or you can do them straight up and down, whatever works for you. For the pockets, we will fold over the top edge twice and sew a top seam. Then we will pin in place. Placement, it depends on your, your preference. For me, I liked it about four inches from each side seam, and that is where I sewed my pockets. your beautiful finished product. I just love the look of this apron. It is exactly what I wanted. I hope you make one for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next video.